Dodge. Uh-huh. Hat straight? No, I know. I'm one of my friends make fun of me. Uh, good evening, Coach, and congrats on the win. We'll start with an opening statement from you, and then we will move on to questions. A um, crazy college baseball game, and that's typical baseball. Um, you got to tip your hat. I thought their guy was as for six or seven innings as good as a pitcher we faced in the last couple of years. It was electric. We just couldn't get on it. And then uh, we have a great at bat by Scotty DeBrule, and then Kellum Clark kind of gets us going. And you know, we had talked to the team about <clears throat> it's just so hard to get the last outs in Omaha. And um, just to keep fighting, keep fighting, get something going. And we were able to do that. And, you know, we've been fortunate all year. Our best hitter comes to the plate, and uh, he gets the big hit again. So uh, a fun night for us. Steve Robertson. So, Coach, I know you had to take a minute to kind of dial it back a little bit, but uh, you know, the emotions of that big inning there, you know, when Kellum hits the tank to, to, right, to right center, I know that kind of gives you a lift, but what was that moment like in the dugout before that when you were just trying to kind of keep them locked in and keep fighting? You know, we pulled together that inning, <clears throat> and we talked about, because the older kids knew, it, was, it felt very similar to uh, the Auburn game in 19, where Auburn had beat us all day long, and we got something going late, so we just challenged them and uh, to keep playing, stay resilient, and the things that we preach all year and the things that this club is. I mean, we, we have won so many late games just because we won't stop playing and won't stop fighting. So uh, an un unbelievable job by the guys. David Murray. Coach, you quipped the other night that uh, you asked Tanner Allen when he was going to start helping the team. Would you have asked for anybody else to be in that situation in the eighth inning? Besides Rowdy, Tanner's the guy I'd want at the plate. He's sitting right here. So uh, I already gave him a compliment. It's um, like I've said earlier, it's, it's, it seems to be um, when the game's on the line, we have a way to get him to the plate. And uh, he produced again. And he's just, uh, he's been like that all year long. He's been the guy uh, that just gets us going. And uh, man, what a great hit. Robbie Falk. Chris, it might go overlooked by some people just because of that inning that y'all had with the six runs, but to continue to put up goose eggs for the, out of the bullpen, those guys to shut the game down where and keep it where it was, how big was that? It was huge, and, and we used a lot of guys tonight. I'm, I got a little worried late because uh, we only had so much, three or four outs with Landon. We didn't have a lot, and um, we knew we'd have to use a lot of guys, and, and, and they all just piggybacked off each other. I mean, I thought – Chase Patrick came in and got a double play ball. Cam Tuller came in and got some big outs. I mean, Parker Stanett, I mean, you just go on and on through the, through the group, Cade Smith. They just kept the, you got to get a hold. When you fall behind early, you got to get a hold if you want to come back. And we were able to do that. I thought we played really good defense. Um, really proud of, <clears throat> you know, Cam James makes the highlight reel play where he goes into the dugout, but the play in the ninth was huge. Um, Tanner Allen made two great plays, I thought, in right field where it, on the ball in front of him where he got great first steps. And you just can't let people score. I mean, it's just hard enough for us to catch them. Uh, you just can't let them keep, keep getting runs, and we were able to do that tonight. I thought we had so many guys play, so many bullpen arms. Um, Josh Hatcher's out there, gets a big hit. Tanner Leggett's playing. Braylon Skinner's making a big catch. I mean, it was a team effort tonight. Theo DeRosa. Uh, Coach, you mentioned Josh Hatcher right there. How big is that for a guy who is a senior making his third trip to Omaha to get in and have that kind of impact <clears throat> on this game? You know, it's been a tough month for Josh, I'm sure, because he's uh, – in RBPs, he's swinging it great. I mean, he had a slump early in the year, came out of lineup <clears throat> and was struggling, but he's swinging in RBPs as good as I've ever seen him swing it. And uh, Kellum Clark's been hot. And Luke Hancock's had a great year. And he hasn't – pouted or anything. He's one of our energy guys. He's cheering guys on. Um, that's one reason we're a great team is we just have, um, you know, some selfless guys like that that let, let you, you know, keep playing and keep doing. And when the time comes, his opportunity came. He got a huge hit for us. Nick Suss. Nick, you're, you're up. You hear me at all? Yep, there you go. Chris, it, it kind of ended up being a, a funny moment there in the eighth with Rowdy on that double getting stuck between second and third. But wh while it was happening there, what was going through your head and kind of what went on in that moment that he kind of got stuck there? Well, it definitely wasn't funny in our dugout. So it may have been uh, up there. He, uh, 
You know, it was a tough play because the center fielder kind of came in on it, and I think Hatch thought it was going to get caught, so Hatch didn't extend a lot. And when the ball fell, you know, when that ball falls like that, usually Rowdy's going to get a triple, but Josh had to hold up a little bit. So that's kind of all that happened. Luckily, they were in tandem, and, and nobody was there to cover the base, um, but put us in a good situation. But um, And what a big hit by Rowdy there. Joel Coleman? Chris, it, you look back on that inning in the big rally, and, it, you know, I guess it just works out that way. The three guys that you have that have ended their seasons in Omaha all three years, you know, their career, you know, you got Hatch and Rowdy and Tanner all played huge roles in that inning. You know, I, I know you probably don't have a whole lot of time to think about that kind of stuff in the moment, but just how, how cool is that? That, that, that three guys that have, I guess, built this program into what it's become the last three years get, get to have that moment in that huge yeah. It's awesome. It, it's awesome. And, and they, they came here to win it. They, they've been here. They've, they've walked off this field and felt like they could have done more. And, um, and they're invested right now, and they're playing great baseball. And we just got to you know, get our work in and let these guys just keep playing games. And, and um, they, the way they're playing, we got a chance to play for a while. John Sokoloff. Hey, Chris, John Sokoloff with WCBI in Columbus. Forgive me if it's a little loud. I'm right outside TD Ameritrade right now, about to go live. But you're one of the most even-keeled guys uh, out there. But, I mean, what were you kind of going through? And take me through your emotions when you heard Tanner hit that ball in the eighth inning to take the lead. What, what's funny is is everybody else is celebrating and getting, you know, having at bats. And my mind goes to the next six outs. You know, who do we have in the pen? Where are we at? How do we get it to land in? Who's warming up? Those type of things. You know, so many times everybody's celebrating in those late moments. And um, myself and Coach Foxall are huddled in the corner while everybody else is celebrating, trying to figure out, you know, the last six outs or what we have left in the pen. Because we had used in this tournament, you have, you know, 13 pitchers, and we had used a bunch and used some the other night. So, um, <clears throat> you know, that's where your thought and focus go to. Theo DeRosa? Uh, Coach, I know not the best night for Christian McLeod. What do you think uh, he was doing there that they had a lot of contact off him? And how can he kind of regroup for the rest of the series? Yeah, I hate it for Christian. I mean, we get here. Um, he's one of the big reasons why we're here. And um, just didn't have a good night. Just, just didn't hit spots. Just left some balls over the plate. They took advantage of it. And uh, we just couldn't go any more farther behind. Usually at, at home, maybe I'll let him fight through that a little bit more. But... Here with everything on the line, we just we just couldn't, and so he'll have a easier chance of bouncing back and getting back out there and get him the ball. And um, like I said, he's bounced back before for, from a bad outing. I just you know I hate it for the kids to be on this stage and and not have the opportunity to play their best. Um, hopefully, we'll get a chance to get him back out there and pitch again. We're gonna go two more questions, Robbie Falk. Coach, uh, this this team hasn't always had pretty ball games. And not getting no hit going into the uh, seventh or eighth inning, whatever it was, but they just don't seem to budge. They just find a way. It seems like every single time. What have you seen from these guys that just made them so special and allowed them to do that? I know this sounds crazy, but the ability to take a punch and keep playing is one of our greatest assets that we have. I mean, we have taken punches. All year long, we take punches, you know, and that's one thing about our league and playing against the best every weekend is, um, man, you, you get knocked at, back and you got to stand up and fight. And our kids just, that's what they do. I, I've used the word resilient all night, but that's who we are. That's, that's, that's what, you know, some teams may have more of something else, but we're a tough, gritty team and um, they'll never stop playing. These guys will play until the last out every time. And final question, Steve Robertson. Chris, I actually have two. They'll be quick, though. How big was Preston Johnson to kind of come in there and settle the, the score for you? And also, to looking forward to the rest of the tournament, you've been able to get a lot of those guys in inning or two. How important is it to kind of get them and, you know, kind of get that out of the way now? Well, that was a little bit of the plan. <clears throat> you know, we were uh, – for a minute there, I was trying to get a rain delay. So I was just running guys out, taking my time because that guy was pitching so good and trying to, you know – get out there. But those guys getting out, getting their feet on the rubber, getting some action. I thought Parker Sonnette was good. I thought Chase was good and Cam and, you know, Kate Smith, okay. But, you know, he still threw up a goose egg. And so we're going to need all these guys and we need them all. Landing camp pitch every in and out of the pen. We need guys to come in, throw strikes, make pitches, 
Maybe Landon can. He's sitting right here, maybe shaking his head. But, um, but we have to have a whole staff. I was so proud of our team tonight. We had so many guys, and some guys hadn't played in weeks because of postseason play. And, you know, it's just – it's what we preach all the time. Just be ready. Be ready. Your time will come. And some of these guys got their time on the biggest stage. Thanks, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you all. Our first student athlete to the podium will be Tanner Allen. Welcome, Tanner. We're going to go straight to questions. First up, John Sokoloff. Tanner, uh, two quick ones for you right here. One, what were your emotions like when you hit that homer to take the lead? And two, were you kind of surprised that they didn't walk you there with first base open and uh, a couple runners at second and third? Man, my first emotion was, you know, going to the plate. I kind of prayed. I said, Lord, uh, I know this is a big moment. And just I just told him, I was like, I want you to know if I succeed or not, I still know. Still thankful for the ability you've given me and the opportunity you've given me to be in this in this moment. And then, uh, secondly, I knew they were going to throw to me. I had a rough night before that, but you know I have written on my glove in the outfield. It don't matter. And uh, my first three at bats, those were behind me, and uh, I knew I had another at bat or two to make a difference in the game. David Murray. Andrew, take us through that at bat. Just what, what did you see? What were you looking for? Well, first off, I've, I've played against or played with that guy, Stephen Scott uh, Shock, before when I was a uh, incoming freshman in the summer league, and he's a, he's an unbelievable pitcher. He he dominated that league I was in, and he's dominated all year long. So hats off to that guy. And um, but I knew I had a base open. I knew they weren't going to throw me a fastball, so I kind of had idea. Yeah, I was just trying to get a slider up in the zones so I can do some damage with. Teddy Cahill. Yeah, Tanner, you mentioned having a rough night, but you, know, you hit this on uh, Sunday as well. I mean, just how did it feel to to get the monkey off your back here in Omaha in, in such a big moment? It, it was a, a big sigh of relief, man. I was, uh, like I said, I hadn't had a hit in a couple of days, but honestly, it really doesn't faze me. It's all about the next at bat. And uh, I'm sitting out there now for the already thinking about, you know, how they're going to pitch me my next at bat. So uh, I'm, I'm just playing it one pitch at a time, man. That's all. Joel Coleman. T.A., uh, a couple of quick ones here, but when Kellum hits that home run, can you just talk about maybe the momentum shift that just the, I guess, the the jolt that sent through the dugout? And then, of course, back to back to back, you get Hatch, Rowdy, you, you three guys that have been here, you know, three straight times play a big role in that rally. Just how special is that to, uh, you know, I know you're celebrating the win, but, I mean, you three guys that have been doing this for so long having a huge part of that. Well, for sure. And don't, don't forget about the play Cameron James made over there in the other team's uh, dugout. Man, that was an unbelievable play. Kind of got the, got us the momentum back, and Kellen makes a, has a big swing, hits a home run. And we got on the board, but we uh, kind of got the monkey off our back as a team. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to remember Rowdy's double in my home, but I'm going to tell you one thing that won't go unnoticed is Josh Hatcher's two-strike fight at the plate to put the ball in play and get something started. That was, uh, that was big time. He hadn't got to play much lately, but I never doubted him one time. He's been playing a heck of defense late in the game, so hats off to that guy. Robbie Falk. T.A., the game was kind of teetering early. It was 4 nothing. I think they had the bases loaded, a chance to really kind of blow it open there. And the bullpen was able to really settle down. And I think had five or six straight shutout innings. I know y'all weren't able to come through in those middle innings, but what kind of confidence did that give you guys that you were just a couple of big swings away from tying that thing or taking the lead? Oh, for sure, man. They they came out and shut them down completely, and that was huge. Because every time, you know, we get a one, two, three, or they didn't score in that inning, we would always have momentum going to our dugout. And like I said, now we wouldn't always come through, but we'd always have that momentum, and we kind of kept it out of their dugout. So that was that played a big part in the game. We'll go two more questions. Nick Suss. Tanner, when the rally started, at what point did you realize you would be the go-ahead run? Were you kind of doing the math in the dugout knowing that you would be number five? Uh, of course, man. I was standing in the dugout and I was telling Goat I'm going to face shock. I know I will. Because um, the guy they brought in before was kind of didn't have his greatest stuff, but uh, I just I saw him down there warming up. And I said, that's the guy I'm going to face right there. And then right when I saw you know Rowdy get the double, that's when I first got to my mind. They got a base open. Probably not going to get much to hit, but I'm definitely going to look for a ball up in the zone. And final question, Steve Robertson. Yeah, when it's when you guys are up against it, and Neil McGarry was dominant, obviously. But you, know, 
a lot of these younger guys look to you to see how to act. So how do you kind of handle yourself in the dugout knowing that's going on, that these guys are kind of paying attention to you to see, you know, is, our, is it just our, not our night? Are we going to be okay? You know, it's funny you say that. First off, hats off to, to uh, that guy for Virginia, man. He was unbelievable. Uh, talking up to 97, 98, he was in the zone with a good slider. He got me twice on the slider. I tip my hat to him. That's the game. Sometimes you get him, sometimes you don't. But, uh, you know, as I was struggling throughout the game, I tried my best to just stay positive and keep the energy in the dugout and keep playing good defense because I knew eventually I'd get a chance, you know, to help us win the game. And, uh that the thought of you know having a big at bat late in the game kind of kept me in the game, so uh, and also you know the young guys I know they they looked at me and Rowdy and uh, Riley Self and Hatch all the older guys we know how to handle the big moments and uh, we just had to stay positive as long as we could. Thank you, Tanner. Congrats on the win. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Mm, thank you. We will be joined next by Landon Sims. Welcome, Landon. We're going to go straight to questions. First up is Robbie Paul. Landon, uh, you ran out there right after that home run. I saw you sprint down to the bullpen, and it looks like they were trying to bridge that eighth inning to get to you in the ninth. How did you feel coming off that 50-plus pitch out in that you had a couple of days ago, um, and how did you feel like you handled that tonight, the four-out save? Um, you know, it started the other night as soon as the game ended. Um, you know, I know I had to I'd do some extra stuff because, um, you know, we got to do everything we can do to win every single game here. Um, you know, I felt good. Um, you know, Coach Lem and Coach Fox are really good about uh, not pushing me past any limits that I don't want to uh, push past. Um, so, you know, I felt good and I wanted to get the last three outs and I happened to get the last four outs right there. Uh, Steve Robertson. We all know how competitive you are, and, and I know you, you would pitch every inning of every ball game if you could. But what what did it mean to see your guys go out there in that bullpen? You know, spent, you know, at Parker, everybody. It seemed like everybody that's been out there did a great job and did a job to kind of get it to you. So it's a guy that's had to carry a lot of the heavy weight. What did it mean to see those guys, you know, get it going? Um, you know, it's awesome. Those guys, they're, I mean, they're dudes. They're every single guy out there. They're, it's, it's. They're awesome. Uh, you know, Preston coming in right after Christian. Um, and then, you know, Chase coming in first and third with one out and getting that double play, that was that was huge. And then, um, you know, Cam Teller coming in there and getting those two outs, first and third, one out. Um, and, you know, Parker Stinnett looked good. And, uh, you know, Cade looked good. Um, you know, they all look good. Uh, but it's, it's really fun to watch right there. Um, you know, I don't think they get enough credit for how good they are. So... Uh, it was really good for them to go out there and really shove tonight. Nick Suss. You said you had to do some uh, extra stuff to be sure you'd be ready for tonight. What extra stuff did you have to do, and when were you sure you would be ready for tonight? Uh, you know, just some extra recovery stuff, uh, nothing too big. Um, you know, having to come on short rest. Uh, it's not easy, but, uh, you know, with our with our support staff, you know, our trainers are – our strength coach, they're, they're the best in the business. So, uh, you know, just getting with them and doing everything I can to be ready for today. Um, you know, I knew in the back of my head that uh, with my competitiveness that I was going to want to get the last three outs regardless of, um, you know, how I felt. And final question to Steve Robertson. Obviously, as the comeback starts happening, you – you kind of realize an opportunity is going to happen. But what's that moment like when you complete the comeback? I mean, you look around there and you get your defense and everybody has played a part in this. As Coach mentioned, it was a complete team game. What's that moment like when you you know you're 2-0 and in Omaha? Uh, you know, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, we didn't come here to win two games. We came here to, to win five games, uh, you know, or more if, if anything else happens. But, uh, um you know, it was really good to see everybody go out there and play really, really well tonight. Uh, you know, the guys out of the pen, um, Hatch, uh, Leggett, you know, all those guys. Like, every, it was – that was the biggest team win we've had all year. Um, and, you know, that's really important late in the year. 
Um, you know, some people can hang their heads if they're not playing too much, but uh, I think everybody in our dugout, um, you know, when the when the opportunity presents itself, they're going to go out there and give it their all. And, um, you know, that's really important to be a championship team. Landon, thank you so much for your time tonight. Enjoy the rest of the evening and congrats on the win. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. As usual, the recording of this can be found on the NCA digital media or digital.